hello everyone and welcome back so basically in the last video we created a functionality in which we can easily choose the font size and then the font size for the text editor will be automatically changed so basically in this video we want to add a functionality so that we can easily change the text color okay so for that first we have to go into our main view dot swift file and we have to create a new UI picker which will be for color picker okay so we can name that color picker and it will be of type UI picker view and then we will have to add it to our sub view so basically we can just copy all the code because we want to add that in the same place and we all and we want all of the properties to be same as that of the size picker so let's copy this and replace this with the size picker and by default we want both of them to be hidden so let's go back to our view controller file and here we need to set the delegate and data source for that so we can do main view dot color picker dot delegate and should be equal to self and then main view dot color picker dot data source and it should be equal to self and also we need to set the delegate for the color text field and now we will create a new array which will contain all the different colors that we want to use in our text editor application so for now I am only using two different colors you can use as many as colors as you want now we have to modify some functions the first function that we want to modify is number of rows in component so here we can simply say if picker view equal to let's say if it is the size picker then we can simply return sizes dot count and if it is the color picker then we can simply return the sizes oh sorry the colors dot count okay and similarly we have to modify this method which is called title for row in component so here we can say if picker view if it is the size picker then we can simply return the string of the array that we are using which is sizes and with row and else if, if the picker view it is the color picker then we can simply return colors row okay and also in the text view in the text field did begin editing okay just because we have to return nil here okay It should be zero because nil is not an integer this must be an string so let's return an empty string here so let's build and see whether we are getting any errors or not build succeeded it means there are no errors so in this function we also want to make some changes and we can say text field did begin editing if text field equal to let's say if it is the size label then we want to 
actually show the size picker view so we can do main view dot size picker dot is hidden and it should be equal to false and if the text field is main view dot color label then we can do main view dot color picker dot is hidden equal to false okay so let's try to run this and see whether we are doing good till now or not okay so let's try to hit this and you will notice that we are getting the this text field and let's try to hit this and you will notice that we are getting this functionality but you will notice that this picker view is not working because we have not m modified the code in the did select function so let's do that now so this is the function that we need to change so let's add a condition here we can do if picker view is equal to main view dot size picker then we can write all the code this here let's cut this and paste this inside okay and else if the picker view is main view dot color picker then we will have to write some code so basically what we need to do is we first need to do main view dot color picker dot is hidden and we have to hide this and then we have to change the color so what we can do is we can do it like this if sizes row is equal to black then we can simply do main view dot right panel dot text color equal to ui color dot black okay and else if it should be actually colors not sizes let's change it here also okay if colors dot row is equal to red then we basically need to change the color to red right panel dot text color and it should be UI color dot red okay so basically we are checking whether the value of is black or red and then we are changing the color let's try to run our app and see whether it is changing the color of our text or not so let's select red and you will notice that it is typing in the red color and let's also change the font size to be 20 you will notice that the font size is also changing so basically now we need to fix two errors that we also need to change the color in the left panel and also this text field should be showing showing the correct value so let's do that for now so in here we can do main view dot color label dot text and it should be black and in this case it should be red so we can do main view dot color label dot text and it should be red okay and now what we need to do is we also need to change the color of the left panel so we can simply do this by just copying this line here and instead of right panel we can simply choose the left panel okay let's do this for this also 
and now I think we are done with all the functionality that we want to implement in our text editor so let's first try to change the font to be 20 and now let's change the color to be red and let's type you will notice that everything is everything is working fine now let's again change the text to be black come on yes you can see that it will be changed to black and if we try to decrease the font size it will change so you will notice that our functionality is working fine and there is also an one error you will see that whenever we are clicking the text field it is showing the editing mark so let's remove that so we can simply do this by going into our edit select and here we can do main view dot color label dot resign first responder so basically this will automatically stop adding the color label so I will have to add this code in here also and we will have to do this here also main view dot size label dot resign first responder so let's run this app and you will notice that the error will be gone so you will notice that if we click the black color here and if we select red now the text field is not in editing mode so basically this is because we have re we have resigned the first responder okay so i think we have completed with the building the text editor and you will notice that it is looking nice you can choose any font any font color that you want and also any font size that you want in your text editor and also the line numbers are automatically increasing which is a very good f feature and it can be seen in each and every text editor that you must be using in modern days so i think we are done with this video and i will see you in some other video where, where we will learn to build some new application or some new component of ios so thank you for watching